Hello everyone and welcome back to Broccoli Master YouTube channel. So in the previous video we have seen that how can we paste all the record of the students into our student list. And in this video we will see how can we operate the delete and edit operation to our student record list. So if you are new to our YouTube channel please subscribe it and like the video and share with your friends. So now without wasting your time let's begin it. <laughs> So on the previous video i have missed one thing that when the user click on their name then the student profile name must available here but we have not connect this student detail html page with our url so let's connect this and after that we will see how can we create our delete and the crude operation okay so let's do that so here this is our student detail page and in this detail page we will be dealing with this thing so let me zoom here so that you can see it clear and here we will give the path of our students so let's give the student url okay let's save it also give the student image here and here the name of the student should be display so let's make the changes here right student dot first name okay similarly in the department we will write student dot section okay similarly here we need to define student dot mobile number okay and here we will take the email of the student do it here uh, write student dot email so actually we have defined the email or not let me check here the views file so there is no any student email is available so let i will put the father email here okay so let's copy it and put it here okay so we also need to define parent dot father email okay after that it will also paste the data for the gender right here is student dot gender similar to that we also need date of birth so let's do it here the right student dot date of birth let's save it so if you want to make the changes here you should do it yourself okay so i am leaving for you that you can try it and modify this template as yourself so now let's move on the edit and delete operation so in the views function first we need to define here okay so for the edit operation we need to just copy this code and paste it here copy this all and first let me paste it here after that i will make you understand about that so let's do it and here we need to make some modification okay so first we will face the data of the student here so right here student equal to get object 404 and it should take the student so log. let me define it here so log and here right so log is equal to so log and again we also need to integrate the parent sections to our student okay so let's do it here parent equal to students dot parent and like the condition if attribute student take the parent class else none okay let's save it and here we need to write like this so let's give the comma here okay here and let's move it here so that it will be correct here and here we also need to change to this so we will need to define here first i will select all the things okay so let me select first and here i will try to write parent dot after that we don't require this we are not going to create here so let's remove this and in the similar ways here let's select all this stuff so let's select it and move this to here and right here student dot father name and after that here we need to save this all so right here parent dot save okay so here we don't require this so let's remove this and again we are not going to create it here so again 
remove this and here let's select all this and move to here write student dot first name so we require the section student image after that we don't require this parent section so let's remove this and here we write student dot save okay so let's remove this also let's save it and here we don't require this also so we redirect direct to the our student list section and after that also write the context equal to and here we need to write define the student is called to student and parent should be and let's save it and pass this context into our return page so context and also save this so we have deal with the student edit section now again we need to deal with our delete page so for it let's write the code here okay delete student request slug okay that if request dot method equal to post so we have to give it in inverted comma post then student equal to get object 404 and pass this student to our slog equal to slog okay again student name equal to f and here we we'll write student dot first name the similar ways here we we'll define here student dot last name and let's just save this student dot delete okay and again return this to rewrite page and we will write here student list so that when the user delete it then it will automatically redirect to the student list page okay so we also need to import the redirect here so let's write here redirect save it after that return http response forbidden okay so let's take the solution from here it will collect our spelling automatically and now let's save it so after defining these all things we also need to include in our urls so let's include here and here we will define these two paths okay so let's copy and paste here after that now let's deal with our html page so in the edit student at dot html page let's open it and here we need to make some changes so let's do it here and here in the student dot html phase let's redirect this page to the students student okay after that uh, there is a form section so we need to deal with that so here is our form is available so here we will write the code form method equal to post and we also need to upload a file so for uploading the file we all we need to define in the html page like this okay so let's save it it helps to handle the media file in a similar way we also need to pass our csrp token so let's do it here and after that we have take this attribute with the help of our name so we need to define it here name equal to first name okay in the similar way we also need to define it here name equal to last name and it will give our first name here okay so let's define it here right here student dot first name so in the similar ways so with the help of this land actually we are first fetching our data that are available in our database and again we are erasing this data and resend that data to our database so that it again update the editable data okay so in the similar way we also need to define it here so let's do here here we will write student dot last name in a similar way we also need to define the name equal to student id okay 
so let's put in the inverted comma student id and define it here student dot student id okay now move to the gender section in the, in the gender also we need to write here select name equal to gender and in a similar way we also need to modify here so let's also do it here and instead of female we will write here male okay male and in a similar way we also need to define here male okay and here we'll write male so in the similar ways we also need to define here others so we don't need this line so let's remove this okay and here in the other sections let's again paste it and instead of female we all again make the changes here okay so let's do it and here we'll write others okay after that there is also a date of birth so let's make the modification here also write here name equal to date of birth okay and here we will define student dot date of birth let's save it in a similar way there is also a class section so let's again define here name equal to print class and here write the value student dot student class in a similar ways i am making the modification in my page so you will also do that okay so finally i have made the modification here now let's save it now let's check our websites either it's working or not so let's open this and refresh the page. Let's remove this and refresh the page here. And we we'll remove this hashtag. And when the user click on the broccoli master, then it is not opening the student detail HTML page. So let me check in the BS file and the views file. So in the views here, the student HTML ET.HTML. Okay, so actually there is a S. Okay, so let's save it. And here is also a S. So let's define it here also. Save it. And let's check it again. Let's refresh the page. So finally, the record is available here. What data we have put there? Every record is available here. Okay, so we have not customized this page so that it's nearly same and you will customize this page according to your need so let's do it yourself after that let's operate now edit and the delete operation so when the user click on the edit button then the edit page must be open here so i think i have not defined it in our student.html page so let's do it here in the student.html page uh, we need to make the changes here so i'm making my changes okay and here we will put the url of the edit student page after that this is our delete student url so you can also do that same things and let's save this and here i have also defined when the user click on the delete button then it will first give the option are you sure you want to delete this, this student then after that when the user click on that then it will automatically delete this data okay so let's save it and again check this page so I am refreshing my page and here when we click on the edit then it's again showing the error cannot access local variable context okay so I think we have made the mistake here also so let's make the changes in the views file it doesn't take the context field okay so for it let's remove this no problem and directly pass it here okay right here uh, student student similar to parent it must be also a parent let's save it 
let's see either our form is working or not so let's refresh the page so it's again showing the error extend dot base dot html page so i think some of the error is coming in our base dot html file so let's check it here in the edit page and here the base dot html file is available in our home folder so we have not defined here so let's write here home again save this and check it again okay so finally you have seen that all the data that we have put in our database is successfully fit here okay in a similar way if i want to make the modification uh, suppose that in, instead of uh, writing broccoli master i am editing my form like this uh, coding master okay so let's save this so we are actually facing this error okay so let me check where this error is came from so in the views i think couple okay so here should not be a comma okay so let's remove this remove this all things and let me check it again and hope this will be work fine save, save it and refresh our page we send it okay so here in the student list terminal does not exist okay so it does not redirect to the student list so let me check it again so there should not be a request okay so let's remove this and save this again again replacing our page here right redirect again save it Replace our page and resend it. So, so it is successfully now updated. So you can see it here. So in this way, you can operate the edit operation. Now let me check either our delete operation is working or not. So when we click on the delete, it is showing. Are you sure you want to delete this student data? I'm clicking OK. Uh, let me check whether our data is available on database. So here, you can clearly see that there is no data available. So in this way you can operate the edit and delete operation in our form and when we click on here simply it will open the student data and after that we will modify all the things that is needed here okay so after dealing with the students i'm not going to deal with the teachers department and subjects i want to give you an assignment for dealing with that okay so get your own models and views functions to handle these all things so do it yourselves and i believe that more you practice more you will learn about that okay so this is your assignments please do it yourselves and if you have done it please comment below so this is for my sides and i hope that you are enjoying this project so please keep watching and keep coding thanks for watching the video